Praise God. Amen. Amen. I will all the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank God very much for this opportunity to stand before you and share with you the word of God. I bring you greetings from my dear wife. He's away, he went for a burial. Um, her brother, wife lost uh, a mother. And also bring greetings from Tororo. Amen. Amen. I request us to stand for only a short time. And I will request media team to project for us these verses. Amen. Amen. Give us Mark 16, 15, and we shall all read. Mark, let's read. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and, be, and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with a new tongues. And they will, uh, I will take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly, it shall by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then, after the Lord has spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere. And the Lord working with them and confirming the world through the accompanying of signs. Amen. Acts 10. Acts 10. Forty-two and forty-three. He commanded us to preach to the people. To testify that it is he who was ordained by God to be a judge of the living and the dead. And to him all the stop there. Amen. Amen. You, you can sit down. Father, we thank you for your word. May you give us revelation, all of you and understanding. And help us to be obedient to your word. We commit ourselves into your hand, O Lord God. And bless your word as we share. In just name we pray. Amen. We can sit down. Amen. 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 Yeah, if you got saved now one year in salvation, can you rise up? So one year up today. One year up today. Yes. Amen. Amen. The teacher is waiting. You can go behind there 
The Helen of my sharing with you today, why we the church have been commissioned with a command. Preaching the gospel or vandalizing it is a command. It's not a request. No, a command whether you like it or not, you must do it. A request, you can either do it or leave it. Now, here, Jesus Christ sat them down and instructed them and commissioned them. And the Bible says they went everywhere to preach. And when they went, they went after Jesus Christ had already gone and seated at the right hand of God. Friends, Jesus Christ left us here at the church for a reason, for a purpose. The purpose is to win souls, is to preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. And these men were, were so obedient. The Bible says they went. Can you imagine? The master who gave them instruction, who commanded them, already gone. And they obeyed and they went everywhere. I think that's why we went today, you and me, we are born again. Amen. Amen. Somebody obeyed God. Now, can we also learn from this? And we say, no, I want to be obedient, I want to obey the word of God, and you begin evangelizing, and you've been winning souls for God. All these people that we see, these people are people of God. They are created in the image of God. But God wants to become their father. God wants them to become his children. But how can they become their, his children? It is by us going out and share the good news with them. Because if we read the book of uh, Proverbs, uh, I mean Romans 10:14. Balumi kumi kumi nanya. Brethren, ma, how then, how then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? How will they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? 15. And how shall they preach unless they are sent? It is written, no. How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace? Who bring glad tidings of, of good, good things? Yeah, here is the question. How will those people, our neighbors, our classmates, our workmates, our relatives, 
Baganda bafe. We may be able to believe in God whom they don't know about. But not even hard. It is us, brethren, to go and share goodness with these people. God works through people. Allow God to work through you. To win souls. Amen. Amen. There is nothing that can make God be glad without, I mean, except preaching and win souls. That is a commitment and a call for obedience. Hallelujah. Amen. Because another thing to preach, another thing to read the word of God, but another thing to obey the word of God. And just what you say it. If you if you obey, and you do what I tell you, there you are my true disciple. Hallelujah. Amen. Then you are my true disciple. And it's very simple. You know, standing here uh, in the church here to make a, I mean, to make a sermon here. You can be very difficult. It needs, it needs, it needs concentration. But to share the good news with the people. It's very simple. Because it is very simple. It is what you have heard and what you have seen. You think that God has done in your life. That is the thing that you can begin sharing with people. I will tell them about Jesus Christ. What made me like this, it is the word of God. It is Jesus Christ. You believe in him. You never regret. Sister. Brother. It is true. You don't see me like that time. I was not like that. Like this. Then someone said, yes, I surrender. And you have heard. Amen. Amen. Through the preaching. Or what I mean somebody has preached about. You go out and share. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we make a decision? To call to do what God wants us to do. Amen. Amen. And the assurance given to us. You lay your hands. And it's only those who go out. Who believe and go out. And it's sign. Sign and wonders will accompany you. You lay all your hands and the sick will get healed. And even if someone waits you and give a poison, the Bible says it won't hurt you. He said, I will be with you after the close of the age. There's assurance. You may be fearing myself, my brother here. I, I fear. How will I begin? They will hurt me. They will abuse me. They will chase my way. I, I do it. Hallelujah. In 84. April. I gave my life to Jesus Christ. And I went back home. And I shared with my, my parents. And they chased me from home. And they said that I bring a religion from Kenya. And my father told my mother not to give me food. But mothers. Let's try for mothers here. 
mothers. In the evening, I will come back slowly. And uh, the grandmother and my mother will bring for me food. I will eat and I will go away. Amen. Amen. But I will say no. And the person who led me to Christ. When I shared with him that man, I was shared from home. And he took me in prayer three, three days without food. That very year in August, in August God visited my father in the in the God visited my father in the dream. and invited all the people and he had shrines. And even outside there had some other big trees, had some shrines. Houses. And when my dad surrendered, he Jesus Christ, all those things were burnt. And the whole family became saved. Both my brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. This is very simple. God can do it. Amen. Amen. But if we keep quiet, people are getting lost. They are getting lost. And he said, How can they go if they are not saints? If you are here, my brother, my sister, and you have that money, let your money do the work of God. If you cannot go, just somebody is going. Just pull up your money and well, save that person go and get saved. Well, and the so to get saved. Get saved. You have preached the word of the, the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So let's serve God. Let's live for God. Amen. Amen. For me, I was a shy man. I was very shy. I will, I will, those days before I go, I will see people, I will just run with, 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 with other people. What? I was very, I was very fearful. And make it once I was Tamara. I could not even make, no word will come out of my mouth. Amen. Amen. To mention one word like this, it can take me some minutes. But when I surrender my life to Christ, just as I was, stories. and I begin saying, oh God, here I am. I will serve you. God remove all the summary. Amen. God give me the boldness and courage. It is a matter of surrender your life just quite. Say, here I am. And let me tell you the secret. God loved to use people who are weak. Amen. God loved people who are what? Who are weak. To show his glory to manifest his glory. So I'm encouraging you who are seated here just purpose to share the word of God with the people. Last week I was in Tororo town. I met a, a, a certain gentleman. So I led him to Christ. After leading him to Christ, he rang his brother who was in Butalaja district. And he rang his friend who is in Kampala. So man, today I got saved. I was prayed for. I was prayed for. 
the man begin now preaching even to other people. Omusajja natandika okubulira abantu abalale njiri. So let's take every opportunity. Tutukoze sebuli mukisa gonna kwe tulina okugabana enjiri na abantu. Hallelujah. Amen. And there's a benefit in sharing the word of God. And this is what is the problem of many of us. Because we project for us Luke 18, 29 to 30. Look. Now this is Peter saying. He said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, because from 17, from which verse? 18 of Luke. 28, yeah. Begin from 28. Then Peter said, See, we have left all and followed you. Then he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left a house or parents or brothers or wife or children for the sake of the kingdom of God who shall not receive many times more in this present time and in the age to come eternal life there are two benefits here in serving God in preaching the gospel in doing what God wants us to do the blessing here and life to come and life to come internal life. And this is what is, I mean, all of us asking questions. Now, if, if they are saying for me to preach the gospel and have this work, how can I go? How can I leave my